Hey, hey guys, it's John and you're watching the Super Awesome Geek Show. Thanks a lot for clicking on my latest video. I really appreciate it. We're still going through the Battlestar Galactica action figures. And we got Mickey Mouse staring over our shoulder there in the background. <laughs> uh, so yeah, which one are we going to do today? Well, we've done Ad Adama and Starbuck. We've done the Cylon. We got the Ovian out of the way. Uh... We got Daggett, and we got this weird-looking Imperious leader. Let's check out Daggett, because he had some variations that we're going to go through. Here he is, guys, the Daggett. Yeah. Pretty neat little guy, little dog figure. It's a wonder they made the Daggett, and they did not make the little boy. Because that's kind of like they should go hand in hand, you know? I understand because they knew people would want Daggett. They just they just knew that. But I mean, you you kind of need the little boy with him, you know. Daggett has a little tail that moves, four legs and a head rotation, and that's kind of his his deal. You often find these very scuffed up. Mine is a little bit scuffed on the face and on some of the parts here, but overall, it's pretty decent. I was happy when I found this one in the tail intact. A lot of times the tails are totally broken off, and that's what you see most commonly. But I was very happy to find this one in decent shape with his tail intact. I think I bought this one just in the last couple years, and... Uh, I also tracked down his counterpart, the brown variant of Daggett. Now, I have no idea why they made two different colors. I'm, I'm now. I believe they did this one first, and then realized that the dog on the show was more brown than than golden. So they they updated the paint and went to this brown version later on. That's what I think happened. Um, I almost want to say it's a difference between series one and series two, because you can see on the box he's 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 the golden tan version. When you look on the back of the packaging, and uh, like this guy, but in series two they made um, one like two new figures, and then they recolored the Cylon. No, three new figures. They made three new figures. They recolored the Cylon gold. And then I think this guy came out in brown. I think that's what the difference is. I think this is a Series 2 guy. Um, but I'm not 100% sure on that. I don't know for, you know, 100%. And all of the second Series guys are pretty expensive. There's Bore, and uh, he's another alien guy. He comes with a club. He's another guy with an accessory. Very few of these figures came with accessories. And uh, so Bore, and then there's the uh, the doctor guy, uh, the one who was who who was uh, betraying humanity to the Cylons. Yeah, that guy. Um, another Imperious, like the Supreme Imperious leader guy. That that one, the tall, thin one that was in the in the show in season two. He shows up as an action figure, and then the gold Cylon. And I think this Daggett is the is the season two the series two Daggett. So yeah, still no little kid, which is what we really should have got with a Daggett as a little kid to play with the Daggett. But no, we didn't get him. And uh, who can you can you guys remember the doctor's name? I'm I'm trying to. Uh, the guy who betrayed them to the Cylons. Come on, why can't I remember his name? I'm I'm drawing a total blank here. But anyways, yeah, a tale of two daggets. <laughs> what more can we say, right? I hope you guys enjoyed taking a look at these daggets with me. Jap, jap, jap. Or whatever he made. He made that weird barking sound, robotic barking sound. Yeah. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. 
I'm John, I'm out of here, and thanks a lot for coming along on this journey with me as we take a look at the Battlestar Galactica figures, and uh, we'll see you later. Yeah, alright, bye-bye.